Okay, so that was the track from yesterday, and uh, I feel like that was a very long track. I th it had to be close to a minute for sure, but uh, kind of makes me sleepy. So hopefully, whatever's going on today will come out strong and uh, not make me go to sleep. I almost could have studied to that last track back in college, but I studied uh, with metal on, actually. I don't know. Some people can't do that, but I found that it was uh, actually the perfect thing for my brain. Weird. Anyways, before we move on, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. It'll let you know when I'm putting out more nerdy YouTube content such as this. Because I know all you guys, like me, are a bunch of nerds. Okay. Getting into it. So I'm going through my software sounds one by one. I've got thousands of sounds, like a bunch of musicians. Uh, you guys all do the same thing that I did. And we all download a bunch of software all at once. And I've got thousands of sounds. And we never even listen to half of them. So we've got all of this stuff and we just keep buying more and more and more and more. Well, I want to remedy this situation by going through my sounds, learning it, putting each sound into a track. And uh, some tracks are awesome, some tracks are meh. But uh, I've been having a lot of fun doing it. So I'm uh, I'm enjoying myself. I hope you are enjoying yourself and all of that. So we're going through Omnisphere right now. I am, what? I'm 43 sounds into this bad boy. Episode 43 today. And having a blast. Okay, so today is the sound Shepherd's Horn. I have not rated this sound, and I do not know what it sounds like. So I'm about to be in, uh, in for a surprise, just like all of you guys. Unless you've happened to heard the sound before. I don't know, maybe you have, but here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so I think it sounds super cheesy when you play it fast. I really, I don't like when it's playing that low. High sounds a little different than the mid. The mid almost sounds more like a horn, and the highs almost sound more like, you can hear almost as like a vocal or a voice in there a little bit. Um, it's very interesting, the, the different things that you get in the different ranges, which is cool. All right, so now we are tasked with the job of figuring out how to throw this sound into a track. Can we do it? Well, we'll find out in the next, uh, what, five minutes? <laughs> so, here we go. All right, let's hit this. I'm going to use it as a little lead line. <laughs> Okay, so then what I'm going to do really fast is move this back just a little bit and cut that. I'm going to copy all this, paste it, double that. All right, so now we got a track starting to form a little bit. Feeling good. All right. Now, to come up with something else. I'm feeling maybe strings. We'll see how this goes. All right. I'm a man of my word. Let's do some strings. I'm feeling it. Feeling it. Feeling the strings on this. You can't tell I'm feeling it. A lot. <laughs>
Yep. That changes everything. Just uh, throwing those chords in there, throwing a little movement. Sets the foundation of where this thing's going to go. I think probably still key bass might be good in there. Um, I could hear guitar in there if we have time in the background. Ah, lots of options. Lots of options. Okay. First, let's get a key bass in there, and then we'll go from there. All right, key bass, here we come. Okay, let's see, see where to go from here. Okay, so while I was doing that key bass, I heard something strings-wise that I'm going to throw down real quick. It needs something in the second half to drive it. latency that's really tough to do on time you can hear I came in late right here so I might move it up just a little bit anyways but it gives it a little drive okay I don't know let's I'm gonna see maybe that maybe that'll be good I could definitely use guitar on here as well but um, you know in the short period of time uh, I'm not trying to create full tracks every time, just get something in there. Uh, so let me see if this is good enough or not. Okay, for the sake of time, I'm, I'm not going to put a guitar in there, although I really want to. So remember this sound, This is that's the sound we're about to rate. Alright, so let's rate this. Get back into it. Shepherd's Horn. Hmm. It's not a terrible sound. Not that anything in Omnisphere is terrible. Um, it's really only ever a question is how much will I use it? That's usually what it comes down to and the deciding factor for me. How much would I use it? Honestly, I'm going to put a two because there are certain elements like subtle elements of, about this sound that I actually really like, but then there's other elements that I'm just, I'm not really into. So it's literally a 50, 50 split for me. I don't think it deserves a one, but it is a low two for me, but okay. You can hate me for giving it a low two being mean to, uh, this sound and all, but it is what it is. This sound doesn't have any feelings. All right. So let's listen to this as we're headed out today. And I uh, hope your day today is super blessed. I hope it's a great day for you. And I hope tomorrow's the same, because why not? Hope, uh, shoot, the rest of the week, the rest of the month, the rest of the year. Why not? I mean, the rest of your life. Hope the rest of your life is awesome. Because, uh, I mean, who doesn't want that? All right, let's listen to this, and uh, goodbye.